The world of military aviation is no stranger to impressive machines, fast jets armed to the teeth soaring through the sky, but every so often a new contender emerges, one that rewrites the rules. Enter the Gripen E, Sweden's latest and greatest fighter jet. Don't let its sleek, almost delicate design fool you. This is a fighter jet with the heart of a dragon. Developed by Saab, the Gripen E is far more than just an upgrade, it's a completely new beast designed for the complex battlefields of the 21st century. While other nations focus on brute force, the Gripen E takes a different approach, agility, technology, and adaptability. This isn't about building the biggest, baddest jet. It's about outsmarting and outmaneuvering the enemy. What makes the Gripen E truly special is its ability to punch well above its weight class. Imagine a lightweight boxer going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a heavyweight champion, and you'll get the idea. It's a David versus Goliath scenario with the grip and E wielding a sling full of cutting edge technology. In the vast arena of aerial combat, the Gripen E is a game changer. It's a testament to Swedish engineering, a beacon of innovation and a force to be reckoned with. This is the story of the Swedish Dragonfly, a fighter jet that has sent ripples of concern through the heart of superpowers. What sets the Gripen E apart isn't just its sleek exterior, it's what's humming beneath the surface. At the heart of the Gripen E lies the powerful General Electric F414G engine. This beast provides unparalleled thrust, giving the Gripen E the speed and agility it needs to dominate the skies. But raw power is nothing without control. That's where the Gripen E's advanced fly-by-wire system comes in. This state-of-the-art system acts as the jet's nervous system, translating the pilot's commands into instantaneous actions. The result? Unmatched maneuverability and responsiveness. And let's not forget the brains of the operation, the Gripen E's advanced radar and sensor suite. This sophisticated system provides the pilot with a 360-degree view of the battlefield, detecting and tracking enemy aircraft long before they pose a threat. Imagine having eyes in the back of your head, and you'll have an idea of the situational awareness the Gripen E provides. Now you might be wondering how can a relatively small nation like Sweden create a fighter jet that worries superpowers? The answer lies in the Gripen E's unique combination of capabilities. It's not just about size, it's about smarts. You see, superpowers often focus on building expensive, high-maintenance weapon systems. The Gripen E, on the other hand, is designed for efficiency. It can operate from short runways, requires minimal ground crew, and boasts impressive range and endurance. In a world of shrinking defense budgets, this cost-effectiveness is a game-changer. Smaller nations can now field a fighter jet that rivals the capabilities of their larger counterparts, leveling the playing field in a way that has superpowers paying attention. Moreover, the Gripen E is designed to be upgraded throughout its lifespan. This means it can adapt to emerging threats and incorporate new technologies as they become available, ensuring it remains relevant for decades to come. This adaptability is a nightmare for superpowers accustomed to relying on aging, increasingly vulnerable platforms. So, how does the Gripen E stack up against the big boys, the F-35, the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Su-57? It's a question on everyone's mind. While direct comparisons are always tricky, one thing is clear. The Gripen E is a serious contender. Let's talk speed and maneuverability. The Gripen E can reach Mach 2, putting it in the same league as the F-35 and Typhoon. But it's in the realm of agility where the Gripen E truly shines. Its delta wing design and advanced fly-by-wire system give it an edge in dogfights, allowing it to outmaneuver even the most agile opponents. When it comes to firepower, the Gripen E packs a punch. It can carry a wide range of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles including the highly advanced Meteor Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missile. This gives the Gripen E the versatility to engage a wide range of targets, from enemy aircraft to ground installations. Section 5, Electronic Warfare Prowess, Disappearing Act, but the Gripen E's true strength lies in its electronic warfare capabilities. This is where the David vs. Goliath analogy truly comes into play. The Gripen E is equipped with a highly sophisticated electronic warfare suite that allows it to jam enemy radars, disrupt communications, and even deceive enemy missiles. Imagine this. A Gripen E appears on an enemy radar screen, then suddenly, it's gone. The enemy is left blind and confused, unsure of where the next attack will come from. 
This is the power of the Grip and Ease electronic warfare capabilities. It can effectively disappear from the enemy's perception, giving it a significant tactical advantage. This electronic warfare prowess is a game changer in modern warfare. It allows the Grip and E to operate with impunity in contested airspace, neutralizing the technological advantage of larger, more heavily armed opponents. It's a classic case of brains over brawn, and it's a key reason why superpowers are taking notice. Section 6. Agile and Adaptable, Master of the Skies. But the Grip and E's advantages don't end there. Remember that short runway we talked about earlier? That's a big deal. It means the Grip and E can operate from dispersed locations, making it much harder for enemies to target. It can even take off and land on highways in an emergency. Talk about flexibility. This adaptability extends to the Grip and E's maintenance as well. It's designed for easy servicing with many components accessible without the need for specialized equipment. This means the Grip and E can be kept in the fight longer, reducing downtime, and increasing its overall availability. In a world where air power is often measured in sortie rates, this ease of maintenance is a force multiplier. The Grip and E can fly more missions, more often, keeping the pressure on the enemy and maximizing its impact on the battlefield. It's this combination of agility, adaptability, and ease of maintenance that makes the Grip and E such a potent weapon system. Section 7. Cost Effectiveness, More Bang for Your Buck. Now let's talk about everyone's favorite subject money. Developing and operating advanced fighter jets is an expensive business. Superpowers often pour billions of dollars into their air forces, but even they are feeling the pinch. This is where the Grip and E's cost effectiveness comes into play. Compared to its competitors, the Grip and E boasts a significantly lower operating cost. Remember that efficient engine and easy maintenance we talked about? Those factors translate into real savings over the lifetime of the aircraft. This affordability means that smaller nations can now access a top-tier fighter jet without breaking the bank. But it's not just about initial cost, it's about long-term value. The Grip and E's upgrade ability ensures that it remains a relevant and potent platform for decades to come, providing a significant return on investment. This cost-effectiveness is turning heads in defense ministries worldwide and challenging the traditional dominance of expensive, high-maintenance fighter jets. Section 8. Global Impact, Shifting the Balance of Power The emergence of the Grip and E has sent ripples throughout the global air power landscape. Smaller nations, once reliant on outdated equipment or expensive foreign imports, now have a viable and highly capable alternative. This is shifting the balance of power, giving these nations a greater degree of military independence and deterrence. For superpowers accustomed to air superiority, the Grip and E presents a unique challenge. It's a reminder that technological prowess is not the sole domain of the wealthy and powerful. The Grip and E has demonstrated that innovation can come from unexpected places, and that even the most advanced air forces can be challenged by a smarter, more adaptable opponent. The Grip and E's impact extends beyond the military realm as well. Its development has spurred technological innovation in Sweden, creating jobs and boosting the country's economy. It's a testament to the power of homegrown innovation and a source of national pride. Section 9. Conclusion, the future of air dominance. The Grip and E is more than just a new fighter jet, it's a symbol of change. It represents a shift in thinking about air power, away from brute force and towards agility, adaptability, and technological innovation. In a world of evolving threats and shrinking defense budgets, the Grip and E offers a compelling vision of the future of air dominance. It's a future where size isn't everything, where brains matter as much as brawn, and where even the most powerful nations must adapt to stay ahead. The Swedish Dragonfly has taken flight, and the world of military aviation will never be the same.